Many thanks for your company in our first story. Three children have died at a 37 military hospital after their parents reportedly sprayed an agrochemical to check some crawling insect at their home. Parents of the deceased children, nine-month-old twin girls and their two-year-old brother, sprayed the insecticide in the evening of Friday in a bid to tackle cockroach infestation. By midday the next day, however, the children had died. The family, we were told, arrived at a 37 military hospital with severe respiratory problems hours after inhaling the deadly substance called organophosphate found in a product called Topstoxin. Let's get details from Joseph Apukugapo, who's been following this development. He joins us via phone. Hello, Joseph. How are the parents doing, Joseph? From, from what we gather, they are doing fine. They were discharged from the hospital last Saturday. Initially, when they were taken to the hospital on Friday, um, they showed difficulty when it comes to breathing. Uh, they were struggling with that a bit, just as the children themselves. But uh, they were detained at the 37 military hospital overnight. And mm. by Saturday, they were doing fine. From what we gather, when they were uh, discharged, to go home, they left on their own without uh, anyone holding them or anything of that sort. And so we gather the parents are doing fine. Joseph, do we know which suburb of Accra they are in and if the 37 military hospital was their first point of call? From what we gather, they were from um, an area around Abavana Town um, here in Accra, which is not too far away from the 37 military hospital. So. Um, that was actually their first point after the incident happened. What we gather is that the parents sprayed the room in which they sleep with a chemical, and this is completely the account of the parents. The hospital officials have insisted that they are still investigating the matter, but the parents have told them that uh, they used this particular chemical in the house in which they live in an attempt to control cockroaches and a number of other insects in the house. After that, they went to bed, in the middle of the night, uh, the parents were having breathing problems, and they observed that the children, the two-year-old and then the nine-month-old twins, were all struggling to breathe. And so they called the neighbors. The neighbors rushed them to the 37 military hospital. When they were taken there, they were put on oxygen. Oxygen masks were put on the faces of all of them to help them with breathing because they couldn't breathe themselves properly. And um, after some minutes, uh, the children couldn't survive and then they, they gave up. We understand the parents took along samples of the chemical that they said they used in spraying mm. the room all the way to the hospital to show medical officials. Okay. And as we speak, uh, the public health department of the 37 military hospital and the Food and Drug uh, Authority have begun investigations to ascertain what exactly led to the death. Mm. Uh, one other thing we gather is that um, when the parents were being discharged on 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 well, saturday they indicated that per their religious belief they needed to go bury the children the day after they had died but the hospital officials are insisting that an autopsy needs to be done they need to get to the bottom of this mm. so they didn't release the body the parents are expected back at the facility this coming wednesday for a follow-up medical checkup but for now okay. officials are still investigating to come to a conclusion on what exactly led to that. Well, Joseph, you've come across a number of agrochemicals uh, with work on your documentary uh, on poison on the menu. Have you come across this particular one, Topstoxin, and um, what is it really supposed to be useful? Um, it's not exactly um, a common chemical that I could say that um, I've come across before, but mm. we've gathered a few details about uh, some of these chemicals. One of the things that uh, usually uh, the agri expert and the extension officers will advise in the application of these chemicals is that even when they need to be used on the field, mm. the necessary protective clothing needs to be worn when they are uh, used in areas where food are, food are stored to protect uh, insects from attack. Mm. Uh, they, they insist that after spraying, a very long duration is allowed between um, when these chemicals are sprayed and when the room is used. And even when it comes to uh, them being used on the field to control in insects and all, uh, they insist that even after spraying them, um, a minimum of 21 days need to be left between when the spraying is done and when harvesting is done. And so these are chemicals that from the indication we get, mm. uh, they, 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 they break down after some time 
in terms of the impact that they would have if they get into the human system. Mm. But immediate direct contact soon after its application is something that is not advised because it could be harmful, but it's only with passing time that it is breaks down completely and don't affect human health. And from what we gather, those are some of the angles that the officials of the Food and Drugs Administration uh, are looking into mm. to really come to a conclusion if this chemical was the cause of the death that we saw. Thank you very much, Joseph Apukugapo. We'll be getting to the FDA for details. But Komla Dom is at the 37 Military Hospital and joins us live. Hello, Komla. What have you been able to gather from the hospital? All right, Benis, uh, I've been at the hospital here in the past few minutes. I've been speaking to sources within the hospital. They tell us that, in fact, uh, over the weekend, the family of five reported to their facility uh, with some difficulties in breathing, mm. and they suspect that a substance which they may have used to fumigate the apartment in which they lived may have been responsible for causing uh, the disturbances. And so uh, when they were rushed here, Three out of the five of mm. the members of this particular family uh, lost their lives. Yeah. Um, a two-year-old boy and twin nine-month-old girls. And so hospital authorities say since the incident, they've been doing a lot of work uh, in terms of the psyche of the parents who are going through quite a tough time at this period, uh, dealing with the loss of three of their children at a go. Uh, so they were discharged over the weekend, authorities tell me, and they say that they have since taken samples of the insecticide which was used in the home of the family and have, have referred these samples to the public health directorate of the hospital for onward forwarding to the Food and Drugs Authority to establish whether indeed substances in this particular uh, Insecticide, which, uh, which we are told contains aluminium, phosphide, and many other toxic substances, may have been responsible for killing these three uh, children out of the five family members, Bernice. Kamla, is the management of the 37 military hospital planning to release a statement anytime soon? Say that again, Benis. I'm asking if management of the 37 military hospital is planning to release a statement anytime soon. Hello, Benis. All right, Kamala, if you can hear me, I'm asking if management of the hospital is planning to release a statement well, uh, anytime time soon. I spoke to uh, my source within uh, the, the hospital. What, what, uh. Well, the, the source within the hospital I spoke to maintained that um, they were walking into a meeting uh, the, past, the past 20 minutes. They, they have been in a meeting, so uh, we suspect that after that particular meeting, which is supposed to ensure that uh, leaders or management of the hospital are appropriately briefed about this incident, I'm sure after that briefing there will be an official position uh, the hospital will release in a short while, Bernice. Thank you for the details. Komla Dom is a man stationed at the 37 Military Hospital. Uh, hopefully we'll get a statement from the hospital. But uh, this really is with regards to the unfortunate incident uh, where a family lost three children at a go after uh, a substance believed to be toxic uh, in an insecticide. Uh, well, um, you know, caused the incident. We'll be getting updates from the FDA, James Latte, joins us on the line. Hello, sir. Well, we don't have him yet. We'll try and get him on the phone line and bring you details on this. We're keenly following this development.